Guys, I'm totally not compressing the thumbnail that I made just for this because it's too damn big. Okay, okay, fellas, let's do this one more time. Let's do this one more time. What's going on, you bunch of silly bastards? I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here, quite frankly. Actually, I know exactly what I'm doing here. I know, I know, I know what I'm doing here. However, comma... Oh, I did not expect to be back here anytime soon. <laughs> oh, how are we doing today, fellas? Mafi, congratulations on being first. Maddie, welcome on into the stream. And Douglas! Welcome on into the stream. Welcome on into the stream. How are you doing? Hopefully good. Welcome on. This is your first Egan Media stream, isn't it? Or is it not? Or am I wrong? Am I wrong? Or do you have a name on... Twitch that I am just not aware of. Is that my fucking boy Contrizzy dog? What's poppin', dude? Holy shit, dude, doesn't this take you back? Do you know what you're doing here? I have a good idea of what I'm supposed to be doing here. Fellas, 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 fellas. It's Contrizzy. Luna, you did miss first indeed. You did miss first indeed. I have a theory I've said a thousand times and I still don't get how people can't accept it. What was your theory? What was your th You know, let's start. Let's start with that. Let's see. What is your theory from Pokemon? What is it? What, 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 what theory do you got? Fellas, today is just going to be anything and everything Pokemon related. We are currently in the midst of what could potentially be the biggest hype season that we've ever seen for Pokemon. And quite frankly, we know nothing about it. And I think personally, I think that's crazy. We don't know. We know nothing about these next games that are coming out, not even this year, next year. And they could potentially be at the beginning of next year, or they could be at the end of next. We have no idea. So we have so much time to theory craft, think, and just just cook all and all together. Now, fellas, let's hear it. What do we got? Does anybody have any theory? Let's let's act. Let's, yeah, let's start with that. Does anybody have any theories for the new game or anything that's coming up soon? Humans and Pokemon to, used to be the same thing. Humans are just a longer branch evolution, just like how humans are our animals. In our world, humans are technically Pokemon in their world. That is entirely true. By technical, no, that is a great thought. That is a perfect place to start with. And honestly, I wonder if in maybe a potential future Legends game, if we go even way further to the past, or maybe way further into the future, actually, let's throw away the past, maybe way further into the future, we're able to do more crazy science, ex science experiments. And maybe we're able to find out the origin of humans because yeah we know where pokemon came from either bipedal or humanoid you know and you, ooh, ooh, may, the, honestly that i wonder if pokemon will actually ever delve into that because that is a very interesting point because yeah like you said how we evolved from animals you know i wonder if they ever will make that connection and if they do ooh, could that potentially be a gimmick for one of the future games that maybe like a full wait a minute chat 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 let me cook listen 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 humans normal types right that's just like whatever just like a base thing right 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 maybe this is the explanation for what ashra ninja's battle bond is maybe less of a gimmick but more part of a story well that too yeah but maybe 
maybe that's what Ash Greninja's Battle Bond could be. You're resonating with the old, you know, not your old Pokemon self, but like that old gene you have in you. Further delving into that whole bond ship kind of thing. You know what I mean? ZA is going to be crazy, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, I genuinely, genuinely believe ZA has the potential to be like just as good or like better than like you know, um, Scarlet and Violet, Black and White, Arceus, like, all of the above, all of the above. Uh, I think, uh, think about it, the more intelligent Pokemon, the more human they like. That is true, actually. That is actually, yeah, there are a lot of cases where a lot of them do look like that. I think ZA is going to be based in Amsterdam. Luna, how did you know? How did you know? Like, how did you know, though? Cause that was actually confirmed just right now by Mr. Gary Game Freak himself. No, I'm kidding. I really don't think we're gonna be getting new mega forms, but that's just my really. You don't think we're gonna get any new mega? I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say like that's a total like no situation. Like, and I'm not gonna say that's a total yes. But I'm what? How? Like, what's your reasoning? I'm actually really curious. What is your reasoning for saying like you don't think we're gonna get any? Or is it just a feeling you have more so? Less of a gimmick, but more of a yeah, right, read that. We have a hint, it's in Diamond and Pearl. The book said humans and Pokemon used to be unidentical from each other at one point. That's true. I do, I do think I remember like hearing about that somewhere. If humans are Pokemon, does that mean that humans and Pokemon can, yo, whoa, what do you mean? That also explains why some humans still understand Pokemon speak. That. You are you you are cooking with that. You are cooking with that. This isn't there are no laws against the Pokemon. It's just food for thought. That's so fun. It's more of a feeling. Okay, okay, okay. I get you. Now, going going uh, going further into what Douglas was saying, guys. Megas, Legend ZA. I want to hear everybody's. Okay, here you know what? Actually, let's do a poll. Let's do a poll, chat. Let's see right here. Let's get a poll on. Start a poll. Do you think Megas, wait, no, do you think Legends ZA will have new Mega Pokemon? Yes and no. Start the poll. Ladies and gentlemen, the poll is now up. Lay down your votes. Do you guys think Legends ZA will have Megas or not? Immediately, already 100% no. Very obviously we know who did that. We do we know who did that. I think it I, I do think there's a I don't know, it's really weird. Because and I think I think about this the most, right? With regarding Megas in Legend ZA. I it I think it's really, really weird because um like I want you to think about like I want you to think about this in this kind of like perspective, right? If we get mega Pokemon that come from the Kalos region, so, you know, new Pokemon that, are, that were introduced, like, you know, like, Gogo -Go or Noivern and, uh, like, like, Carbink, right? If any of those Pokemon get Megas, why weren't they present in the originals? You know what I mean? So, I'm, I don't, I'm like, I don't know. That kind of doesn't make sense to me. But also, to be fair... They can kind of just do whatever the hell they want and just, you know, just throw, you want a mega, uh, you want a mega Noivern? Boom, take it. You want a mega Gudra? Boom, take it. You want a mega Florges? Finally make it a grass type? Boom, take it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, like, it, cause, cause like why it makes sense, it, it, it makes sense for, or as kind of because new megas kind of come across like Asuian forms new versions of pokemon that existed in the past but don't or can't now that would be an interesting avenue actually that would be a really interesting avenue to take that one down it's like so like huh that's actually really interesting huh so hisui or like ancient or not ancient like old Kalosian that'd be an easier way to handle them no that's actually really that would be an easier way to handle them right so okay okay so wait let me ask you guys this right 
My or okay. Let's go off of the I mean, it's still up in the air, but I think I'm pretty well sold on the idea that this new Legends game is going to take place in like the 1800s equivalent of what that would be for Pokemon. I don't think it's taking place during the war. I think it's way or before or after. I well, definitely after. I think it's way too like way too far way too far in the future for, for the war because war was 3,000 years ago i don't even think legends arceus took that long ago is, does it is it actually confirmed how long ago legends arceus takes place how long ago does legends arceus take place does anybody know if that's like a certified answer or anything like that that's that's not right what Yo, Rainbow! What's going on, homie? How you doing? 500 years, I think? 500 years? In the end, Rayquaza ended up being the only Pokemon who could still make evolve without a stone. Think 500 years? What's good, broski? Not much, not much. Bro, we're trying out another YouTube stream, seeing how this is going. How you been, man? How you been? Hopefully good. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. The first thing that... I mean, obviously, so there is no real con concrete answer about it, but the first thing that says is 150 years ago. I would have thought... Wait, hold on. As it turns out, after a bit of research, it only takes place 150 years ago, which is a lot less than I thought. Specifically, it takes place during the time in Japan known as the Meiji period, re restoration, which started in 1868. Why, is this like a deleted Reddit post? Well, damn. Well, that, well, I guess we'll never know. I mean, th honestly, that is probably the best thing to go off of, because it's like, you know, that time period like what though like what the architecture for the buildings were and stuff like that but like something like something that throws me off so much is like just like thinking about it legends arceus looks like i've been voted out in the polls oh wait let's see what is it at what is it at 60 percent say yes and and 40 percent say no interesting interesting that's really interesting actually Cause that's something that you know, like that's the hottest topic when it's coming to like, you know, anything Pokemon related right now. Megas, you know, megas are all megas with or without a game that exists with them in there are always the hottest topic. You know what I mean? Like, like throughout, you know, every Pokemon, every new Pokemon game, everybody's like, are we going to get new megas? Are we going to get new megas? Are we going to get new are megas coming back? Like, you know, everybody said, you know what I mean? And it's like, I mean, it's a valid question. You know, every it's it's easily their best gimmick. You know, like without a doubt. So I mean, it's a very valid question. You know, are we gonna get Megas back? And now we actually are. God, that is like that's still so crazy to me. You know what I mean? Doing good, man. Just working on some stuff. Hey, get that bag. Anyways, seen you're doing streaming today. How you've been, man? Hey, man, I've been. You know the college grind and the youtube streaming grind the youtube video creating grind and the and and the, and the streaming grind has been quite the time consumption but you know what i've been I, i've been good regardless i got a lot i got a great support system around me a lot of amazing people the love of my life uh things are going good things are going really good got stable income coming in and hopefully we can get this as a more or as another form of stable income, you know, but hey, man, I hope you're doing good. It doesn't it doesn't mean that Legends Colossus won't take place further in the past, like how Volo was the villain in Legends Arceus. AZ could be the villain in Lysander. No, that is absolutely true. Yeah, literally rotation battles. Get the f <laughs> yo, honestly, chat. When are rotation battles coming back to the fold? No. Oh no! I just my chat. No, that's so okay. Hold on, hold on, gamers. Hold on, gamers. Uh, I gotta. God, that's so annoying. Chat. Okay. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm oh, I'm not watching myself. Chat. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Um, I may or may not. Uh, where the hell is the delete button? Chat. I may or may not be removed. Where they? Oh my lord. Chat blows up chat with, but don't blow up chat with mine. No, um, guys, I may or may not be. Uh, oh no, is it microscopic in here too? Um, but no, yeah. Um, guys, I'm streaming this off of Streamlabs OBS. I, mm, not my, not 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 the most fun. 
I mean, we did get new Megas. I mean, we didn't get new Megas in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so why would we get them now just because it's Kalos doesn't mean anything? That's, that's, that is like, logically, that's a very good argument. You're supposed, what do you mean? What do you mean? Look, I was not about to, I, I was not about to like, or change all my, or redo all my stuff again in OBS. No way. Ain't no way. But honestly, no, Douglas, that's, that, that, that's a, that is legitimately a fair point. Yeah, because Megas, they were in. Let's go Pikachu. That's the thing a lot of people forget about. Let, Megas were in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. I honestly forget about it sometimes, but you're right, we did. But the reason why I think it's possible is because, I don't know, like, it's one thing for the fact that we're going back to Kalos where Mega Evolutions, you know, originated from, and for us, not in like the lore sense for Pokemon, right? It makes sense in that regard. So that's why I think it's a potential, you know what I mean? Don't even put your Pokemon back in the ball. You just shove it to the side when you switch out for rotation battles. Oh my god. That's... Yeah. I don't want rotation battles. Can you imagine if they bring back rotation battles as well? Ugh. Oh my god, please no. That'd be... Yeah, fair point. I mean, listen, I look, I'm here for this... Not debate. I'm here for this, you know... I'm here for this conversation. I'm here for this. Um, I'm here for the debate. I'm here for this conversation. I'm here for all of it. You know what I mean? And I'm ready to have that, you know, like I want to have this conversation. I want to interact with you guys. I want to get this idea. I want to get the, I want to get your brains going. My hero theory stream when, oh boy. I don't know if there's really much to theorize about my hero. It's about to end. You know what I mean? It would have been fun if I got caught up to it any time before now, honestly. But no, going back to what you actually said a little bit earlier, though. Who do we think the vi or chat? Who's the who's the final boss? Who could be the final boss of of Legend ZA? Right, because we could say that the final boss, or because like throughout the main story of oh, again. Man just got cursed with immortality. That'd be crazy. No, I wasn't gonna say that. No, because like that, like think about it, right? Because like in Legends Arceus, there was no like main villain or antagonist we were going up against. Sure, we, you know we had to quell the Titans when they were enraged, and we had to deal with you know uh, the uh, Clover, uh, the, the the three sisters. The I, I forget their names. It was Candice, Bertha. And sat and like a female equivalent of Saturn, right? Like those, but the, but that but they weren't the main villain, or they weren't the final boss. Clearly, the final boss in Legends Arceus was Volo and Giratina, right? So, yeah. Do we? Do you guys think it's Az? Okay. So, okay. Actually, let's let's talk about that. Do you guys a think Az is going to be in this game? B. Do you think he's going to be? Wait. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys think that Az is going to be in this game? Follow-up question to that. If he is, do you guys think he's going to be the good guy? Like like a like a, a good guy or a bad guy? Or like kind of in the middle, like a gray area. You know what I mean? Since it's just out of her... Uh, for I'm thinking, you know, I'm looking at a grammar design. You know, I'm also excited. Uh, this entire content thing, I'm really doing good with it. Can I let me keep something on the channel? Hey, man, dude, that's what you like to hear, bro. Absolutely. Heck, yeah, man, get that bag. This channel actually... Uh, is profitable and I just want to take a watch time. Wish you the best luck on grind, dude. Personally, just reckons to stay consistent. No, man, hey, that's the thing. That's the thing. You just gotta stay consistent. That's the hardest thing, but I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. Agatha Bertha is somehow related. That's one sister confirmed. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, yes. I don't think he's a villain. I think he'll play a Cole Res role like, or cyborg people like in... Oh, so, okay. So you think he'll... Okay, okay. So you... So you like like more of like an influence more than a villain, kind of what you mean? Almost like a guide maybe, or more or more just sticking to like that bypass kind of like influence, because that is a good that 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 that's a good way to look at it as well. I like that personally. I like that. That's a good way of thinking about it. <laughs> that's very yeah. It's so. Mm. Also, I'm gonna end the poll. Looks like. Majority of people think we are going to get new megas. I do like the influence idea. I do. Th I, I like that too. Honestly, I like that too. 
something that I like it's so like hard to not it's hard to think about but it's so like difficult right because I feel like we're trying to stop him from setting off the weapon and maybe it leads to the non-mega timeline just a thought no I I, I, I don't I, I don't think so personally and the reason why is because I like to imagine that after doing what he did the first time 3,000 years ago he learned his lesson you know so he's like maybe i shouldn't have fucking killed everybody <laughs> you know me maybe i shouldn't have done that because now i'm immortal and now i have to roam this earth endlessly you know i feel like we're trying to stop him oh no oh, yeah, yeah uh do have more uh do have more free time man i guess it's just regardless best of luck with it and a do you have any plans on doing more deep dives i like them oh absolutely yeah no absolutely I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to think, like, I have really been trying to think, like, you know, what my next video will be. I have really been trying to think that, chap. Like, I, I'm, tr I am trying to do, like, a good combo. I didn't realize it was mod. Yeah, I may do a mod, just in case. Because I know you'd also be here. Um, I know, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, like, what my next video is going to be like. I think, I think it will probably be a Pokemon video. Or I think that's just smart. Because I do want to have a good cross between Pokemon and anime. I still got to make an anime video that blows the fuck up. Mr. Streamer Man, where's my shiny unsub plus L? How about you go back to the Guipo land and where you came from and then you go get your shiny there. No, I'm kidding. What's going on, Steph? How you doing, my guy? Hopefully good. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Which of the starters do you think will have Legend ZA? That's a good question, because I have an answer for that. So me and a couple of other people, Mafi or Mafadella in the chat was one of them. We sat down and we theorized what starters could be in what what, what the new uh, rotation of starters could be. We think it's 100% Snivy and Piplup and a toss up between Honestly, for the fire type starter, it's between two things for me. It's between two things for me. It's between Score Bunny and Torchic. I've been a Torch, yeah, Torchic, it could be, yeah. I honestly am kind of leaning more towards Torchic because lore reasoning and because of little hintings that the that Game Freak has thrown out at us. I do think Torchic. But, you know, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But that is my rotation that I, I, I like I'm I'd be I'd be willing to bet money that the grass and water type starters are Snivy and Piplup. I'm willing to bet money like genuinely. Like, I am so unbelievably confident on that. Hiding at work to watch Media Man stream for real. Yo, that's that dedication that you love to see, ladies and gents. I think Torchic makes more sense because the because of it. Ooh, I didn't even know that actually. Okay, I gotta go back to work. Sounds good, Luna. Thank you for dropping on in. By the way, my first theory also explains why human can do martial arts and use psychic abilities. And when you look at fighting and psychic types, tend to be more human. That no, no, yeah, that that is true. That is true. Because I was thinking like, think of sock, think of throw, think of um, choke. You know, I only knew the chick connection because of the French soccer team. Yeah, no, chicken honestly does make sense. And you know what? Honestly, chap, the more and more I think about Torchic as an option, like think about this with me, right? Think about this with me. Do you guys remember what the launch game mystery gift Pokemon was for X and Y? Do you guys remember what it was? It was Torchic and Mega Blaziken. It was Torchic and Mega Blaziken. You could get that one right from the start if you got the game at launch and did the mystery gift event. I re I just like just remembered that. You know what I mean? So why do they seem to be skipping black and white? Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. They're not skipping black and white. No way, shape, and form. Black and white, way too early. We are way we are way too early in the timeline. Yeah, we're way, w not the, the timeline. We're way too early to go back to black and white. Like, I get it. Um, BDSP came out maybe, like I, I they teased it a lot with us, you know, like with um, 
I really want them to release a platinum remake first, anyways. If they re if if they do that, that really could say. If they do that, I want my money back from BDSP. I just want to see the true dragon. Okay, well, here's the thing, though. You wouldn't want the true dragon in a black and white remake. You wouldn't even want that in black, white three. You'd want that in a legends game for black and white. Think about it. Why would you want to go more into the future to create something that already existed within the past? Why? Why? Why, why would you want that? No, I mean, legends cure him. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that, that's what you meant. Okay, that's what you meant. Oh, I get what, you, okay, sorry, my bad. I get what you were saying. You meant why, okay, no, got it, got it, got it. And more in the future for, more in the future for the technology to go back in the past could work though. But that like, but that seems a little, or not contradictory, but it just seems like, why would you start a game in the, in the present or why would you start a game in the future if the main thing is going to take place in the past? Because Arceus is also future than past. Well, I mean, well, yeah, you get sent from modern times to the past, but that's not, but that's not due to like science and stuff like that. That's due to Arceus fucking around, be like, hey, get back. You need to do something. You know what I mean? But no, I get what you mean now, Maddie. I. I thought you meant like, why are we getting black and white remakes before like everything else? You meant, why are we skipping Unova in terms of alleged? I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I I, I thought you meant black and white. Like, why are we skipping black? And white? I thought I thought that's what you meant at first. Legends implies the past. Well, the, well, actually, see the thing with Legends that I've thought about is that I don't think. No, no, no. You're all good. You're all good. You're all good. No worries. No worries. The thing about Legends is that I don't think like, you know, when I first saw the title of it, I the thing that I thought of was, oh, it's talking about like, you know, the legends of the past. But no, it's talking about the legendary Pokemon. Because think about it, right? What the first title Pokemon Legends Arceus, right? Arceus is the legend. Legend ZA. Clearly, it's Zygarde. We don't know what the A is, but maybe it's something new that just did, doesn't exist in the current time. Two legends for the sequel, uh, or not for the sequel, but for the you know the new legendaries, or for the, the the second the second Legends game has two legends to focus on. Arceus is a mythical. Well, well, it's a mythicals are a subcategory of legendaries you know what i mean everyone's forgetting the first legends arceus pokemon pokemon conquest yo this is facts this is facts um but no chat chat hear me out hear me out i just chat i just thought of something i just thought of something and this could actually be crazy think okay get this get this ready get this legends arceus focused on arceus Right there, th that was the main theme. Legends ZA Zygarde and something this A legendary, maybe, maybe, right? The third Legends game, Reshiram Zekrom Kurem, more so how they became that. Three. Three of them. Arceus for the first one. Zygarde and the second Pokemon for the second game. And then Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kurum for the third one. I'm just saying. If they want to secretly add little number hints in there, they could. Zygarde and AZ. That could work too. Yeah. AZ. Do you guys think the A is referring to AZ? The thing that throws me up, that throws me up. The thing that throws me for a loop the most with Legend ZA is the fact that it's only good. Like I like you can like I understand and I've thought about it. You can make a game and like you can do everything specifically. 
it, it blows my mind that the game's only gonna take place in Lumio City. I'm like, what? I think it's just AZ spelled backwards. Well, that's definitely true. I mean, that it was like, yeah, but but we know that the that the Z is for Zygarde because it was green and has hexagon. Like that's the biggest. Like if you're gonna say no, you know what I mean. Like you'd have to be delusional. I think it's an Amazon sponsorship, guys. This video is sponsored to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Probably used to be a huge and got smaller as everything progressed. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Chat, the moment we get the first trailer for Legend ZA, so many things are going to get answered. And we're also at the same time going to get so many questions. <sighs> so many questions. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's good. We're going to see. We're going to see the graphics of the game. We're going to see how the, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? We're going to see the, the style of buildings. What is that called? What's, there's a word for that chat. What is that? I, it's, it, I, my mind is blanking. What's, there's a word for that. We're going to see the, how the buildings look, right? We're going to see like the, I, I, I'm forgetting the word. Somebody will get in the chat. We're going to see like, you know, like or the, the layout, the plan for architecture. Thank you. Yeah, we get to see the architecture for. We get to see the architecture for the the the, the Galumio City. What it is already at, or if there even is architecture, we get to properly learn the purpose of the game because the purpose for Legends Arceus was to fill out the Pokedex. The rest of the story just so happened to be the best B side plot ever. Um. But no, you know what I mean? Like, and finally seeing these starters. Yes, yes, yes. Finally seeing these starters. Finally seeing these starters. I'm, I'm willing to bet money. I'm willing to bet money. That it's Pipple up and fucking Snivy. I'm willing to bet money. Like that. Ooh. I, I'm, I'm so on that. Like, I'm so, I, oh, like I know, I feel it. I feel it. My, Oh my god. Um what else is there? Let me think. Let me think. What else do we got? What else do we got? Oh wait, actually check in one second. Let me do this real quick. Let me do something just real quick. It won't take up any time. Just uh where are you? There you are. God, where the hell am I looking? There it is. There we go. They could throw another curveball with the starters. They could, oh, they could throw us. Uh, I honestly, so like, I'm trying to think about it, like, depending on like, if like, if we know those starters, like, like if I'm right, like if it's Torchic, um, if it's Torchic, Snivy, and what's it called? If it's Torchic, Snivy, and Piplup, I'm like, which one am I going to choose? And if they change the typings for like Kalosian forms or something like that, right? Um, uh, like, cause you're like, I know damn well, I'm having a Greninja on my team to relive that part of my childhood. Cause X and Y were my first games. You know what I mean? X and Y were my first games and Greninja was my first ever starter and my first ever Pokemon type changes likely. See, that's what I think. Well, actually, I don't what No, I see. I don't know. I'm like, that I think is the more likely option, but I don't know what they would do for some of the Pokemon because some of them are like perfect as they are, right? Like, I don't know. It's weird. It's a whole, well, it's a, it, it's a whole conversation topic. It's a debate. That's what it is. But yeah. <sighs> Horror coach, she just has a really nice art style. Really, really nice art style, Maddie. Um, Cause like I I I I I need my Greninja. I need my Greninja. I need my boy Jiraiya. I'm so ready. I'm so ready for it. You have no idea, guys. Oh my god, these games are gonna be great. These games are gonna be amazing. They're gonna be amazing. And Douglas, actually, I know, I know that those games are more into the future, or liter in a literal sense in which they're coming out. I know they're coming out next year. But Douglas, you are very dedicated to this channel. You come in 
and you are you're always interacting with the community post and you're always there in the comment section and now you're here on the stream so i want to tell this to you directly to you if you if you enjoy this you know what i'm doing right here and you want to be there for when i play legends za i'm gonna say this right now homie i'm gonna say it right now if you want to be there bro i don't know if you have a twitch account or not go go follow my twitch because i promise you look i am you're gonna see a lot like if, if you just enjoy what i'm doing here you just like my vibe you like my energy you like what i do if you just want more of that you can get it over there on my twitch i do not have a twitch account i mean obviously you do whatever you want homie i'm not gonna force you to but if you want more i'm gonna highly highly recommend it i'm gonna highly highly recommend it and that goes to anybody else who may be lurking out here that comes from youtube if you guys enjoy this you guys like this debate you guys like this talk you guys like all this stuff these questions go and follow my twitch i promise you you'll get it it'll be a bang it's totally free obviously you only have to support if you want to that is the only like the only if you want to and you know what and i'm gonna bring this up here same goes for youtube if you guys want to support in the in the terms of moolah money you have two methods you can do the super chat so super super stickers or there's a link down in the comments link down in the comment there's a link in the description below for the Streamlabs dono link obviously you guys do not have to in any way shape or form only if you feel like it only if you want to and that is all up to you and it is totally okay if nobody doesn't it's an it's an option for a reason enough said now chat Who's down for a little game? Who's down for a little game chat? Because I got Squirtle up on the screen and I'm down to try and play a couple of rounds. Who, I, who here likes Squirtle? Anybody here like Squirtle? Because I am stupidly good at this game. Like for no reason what it feels like. Like I am insanely good at this game. And man, totally respect that. Like I said, in no way are you required to bro. In no way are you required to. Down for it. All right, let's get started. Douglas, I'm going to let you pick the first Pokemon that we start with. Give me any random Pokemon from any gen. And you, Galarian, uh, any any form, regional variant. I'm going I'm I'm to let you start. Oh, my God. What is this one? Unova Victory Road. Oh my god. I do not remember this one. Snorlax. Great pick. Snorlax. Let's see. What do we got? Okay. It is a normal type. It's a it's a, it's a it's a primary normal type and it has a secondary type. It's from a higher gen. So let's go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go for something. Two, four, three, wait, two, three, four, five. Let's go for something in Gen 5. Normal type, Gen 5. Let's go for, let's go for, uh, uh, Sawsbuck. Okay, lower Gen. So it's between Gens 2, 3, 4. Let's go for something in Gen 3. Let's go right in the middle. Normal type. Oh, what's a secondary normal type in Gen 3? I'm trying to think. Secondary normal type in Gen 3. I feel like everything in Gen 3 has like is dual type, you know what I mean? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um secondary type in Gen 3. Honestly, I can't think. I'm just gonna go with Absol. Never mind. Why did I think that was a Zangoose? Jesus. Why did I think that that was a normal type? Okay. It's from Gen 4. Confirmed. That's good. That's good. All right. Gen 4 normal type. And it's, and it's looking to honestly be pretty small. 
Let's see, what are some normal types from Gen 4? It's not, it has a dual type and it's not grass. Uh, love Zangoose. I honestly have never tried out Zangoose. Wait, is Bibarel normal water? That can work. Okay, Gen 4, like we said, the barrel. Yeah, yeah, the barrel was the first one we thought of. Um, not a water type. Normal. What the hell is this thing? Oh my god, Staraptor? Or anything from the Starly line? Okay. It has to be Starly. GG. There we go. There we go. Got it. Got it. All right, let's do another one. I'm, 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 I'm in the, I'm in the Squirtle mood, chat. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. Let's start with something. Let's start with um, Turtonator. That's a big guy. Okay, lower gen. So from gens one through six. Let's go for something in gen three. I'm gonna head out, Miss Media. Hope you have a fantastic stream, eh? Hey, thank you so much, homie. I greatly appreciate it. you. Take it easy, man. Thank you so much for dropping on in. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, yeah, man. Cheers. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Starly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Starly. Let's see. Let's go for something in Gen Three. Let's go for a Sharpedo. Okay, Gen Three. It is Gen Three. We'll do, bro. Cilantro. Hey, Cilantro, homie. Did I have what? Yes, I do. All right, let's see. Smaller than a Sharpedo, but it is from Gen 3. Let's go for, honestly, let's go for Wurmple. Let's go as about as small as I can think. Okay, it is a single type. Not a bug type, though. Bigger, let's, okay, let, honestly, let's try um, Trico. Oh, wait, no, yeah, okay, we still have bug. Let's try it. Okay, bigger than that, bigger than that. Let's see. Okay, so we have a good about it. We have a good amount of types already gone. <laughs> Are we building a team? No, no. I'm building a team of some of the most dangerous Pokemon on the planet. It's Turtonator, Sharpedo. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's see. Electric. Are there any pure? There is. Uh. <laughs> Yo, laters, bro. Take it easy. Take it easy. Ah, uh, there is Manectric. Although, no, Manectric could work. And just like that, full all across the board, flat. Now that's what you like to see right there. Oh wait, Squirtle Stats Edition. Oh Christ! You have to, you have to wait. Let's let's do this. I've never done this one before. Sorry for the delay. It took me five minutes. Something. Yeah. Patty cake. Patty cake. Coming in with the ten dollar. The ten dollar super chat. I'm waiting for that to show up. Wow, this delay is crazy. Where the hell is it? Come on. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There. Oh, God. I was not going to read it out, you bastard. Welcome back to the YouTube stream, Shmedia. Mr. Bee's Knees, how in the flipping fudge are you doing today? Hey, man. Thank you so much. Seriously, like that? Thank you so fucking much, bro. That's... That's so fucking kind of you. That's so sweet of you. That's so fucking kind of you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so fucking much, dude. And they, they, thank you for the warm welcome back. Now, now, guys, I will say, adding on to what B's kind of said, welcome back. If you guys want me to stick around, you guys want me to keep on doing this kind of thing, show the love. Let it be known. Let it be known. And B's, you're doing it. I'm not saying you have, I'm not saying you all have to do what B's just did, but thank you. Thank you, my guy. Thank you. 
hope you're having a great one man i hope you're having a great one today we're doing a little bit of squirtle and we're actually well we're doing a lot of different things we were theory crafting earlier about what the new like what could happen with the new legends game talking about some old stuff talk about mega guys talking about a bunch of different stuff and we're gonna we will go back to it at some point doing a right to me you're just chilling right now hell yeah man that's what you like to see but right now we're currently in a little bit of a game situation we're doing a little bit of squirtle and we're gonna try the stats edition did everyone hear that the pokemon company changed the term starters first uh with with first partner pokemon a few years but i actually did not know that actually i did not pokemon stats edition let's start with let, let, let let's just uh gen slash okay let's go with let's just start with something let's go with a legendary no pseudo no okay let's go with mewtwo oh wow this is insane so let's see Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So it has, okay, let's go for something like, right? Let's go for a Machoke. Lower stats than even that. It's a single type. So it's, so it's a pure monotype. Okay. Okay. So let's see what other pure, is there, oh, let's go, okay. Higher speed, lower everything out. Jolteon? Okay, lower that, lower that. Ooh, this is interesting. This is interesting. This is hard. I don't even know if I'll get this. Pure. Okay, it's looking to be rather weak overall. Like pretty weak. It's probably like a, is it a tripe? You know what? Oh wait, no. No, we can't. It's not electrostatic, but that would have been that would have been good. Just as like a base barometer. You know what I mean? Damn it. You know, let's go with. Let's go with Charmeleon. Oh, OK, we got the speed 80 speed. We got it's an 80 speed and it's an oh, damn. We're tr 80 speed. OK, so what's about like as fast as a Charmeleon? That's hard. What is this about as fast as a Charmeleon? Dude, that's... Rattata? How fast is a Rattata? No, I, yeah, I was about to say that's slow. Raticate? Almost. Almost. A little bit over. As fast as a Charmeleon. Um... What about like a Nito? Like one of the Nitos? Are any of the Nitos? No, no. Oh crap. None of the Nitos. Ekans? Kind of trying going along that typing. Coughing for some reason? No, yeah, you're slow. I thought you'd be slow. Persian! Wait, that's actually. Aw, oh, damn. Too fast, too fast. But that is good. That, 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 that was good. That was a good throw. That was a good throw out there. Let's see. Bug type? Are there any? No, there are no pure bug types. Uh, ice pure ice types? How big? How fast is a Vaporeon? Hmm. Did you know? No. Actually, let's see. There are a lot of water type. Water the most? Okay, the most. Yeah. Oh, it is a water type. Okay, it's a water type. Confirmed. Okay, water. Okay, so it's a. This makes it so much. Okay, star you. It's a water type from Gen 1. There's like a mil War Turtle? No. Squirtle. Okay. Uh well, it's not Star Me and it's not Star You. Okay. Yeah. Pure Goldeen or uh Sea King? No. 80 once we find a water type pokemon with 80 speed like we have it basically right water type from gen one pure what polys the polys damn they don't change gold duck gold duck everything is just over everything is just over damn it Psyduck? No. Water types from Gen 1. Pure water types from Gen 1. I'm trying, I'm like going along the routes, you know? Magikarp? Wait, Magikarp? 
No fucking way. Oh my god, it was a goddamn Magikarp. It was a goddamn Magikarp. That's so fun. Let's do... Okay, I like this. Let's do this again. All right, let's go for... Uh, let's go for Swellow. Not Gen 3. Okay, and it's not flying or normal. Okay. So let's see, lower speed. Oh my God, Swell is fast. What the hell? Lower HP, higher attack, higher defense. Okay, so just lower HP and lower speed. So. What in the world would have? Well, it's not. Mm, what about Veluza? Veluza, as we all know, is ass. Interesting. Okay, not Gen 9 either. Let's just crush out some typings so that we can like try and get an idea as to like what we're looking for here. Yeah, right. It was Magikarp. How funny is that? Um, let's see, let's see. Neganadel? Let's, let's, I mean, I know we're supposed to be going for the, the. <sighs> let's try something back in gen one. Try gen five, or you know what? Yeah, let's go for a gen five. After that, we'll do gen one. So let's see. Let's go for something that's a monotype. Let's go for basculin. Okay, okay. We have a stat. It's attack stat is 92. What the fuck? Okay. Um, so 92 attack stat. Ninety-two attack stat. Is there anything in Gen One that could have a ninety-two? Something that's okay. Let's uh, something maybe like a middle stage. What's like a gloom? No, gloom special attack. Yeah. Uh, physical attack. Physical attack. Or maybe it's crazy. Maybe like what if I do like a? Wow, like what's? Let's just see. Okay, not Gen 1. 2, 4, 6, or 8. We're crossing off a lot of types here. Holy crap, dude. Pseudo Wudo? No, it's not a single type. Let's think of something in Gen 4. Oh, Rotom. Well, it's definitely not any of these, but let's just do this just for the types. Let's go for fire. Honestly, let's go for heat row, Tom. Okay. Oh, we have the HP as well. Okay. It's from gen four. It's from gen four. We have the attack and the HP. So 50 H, so 50 HP, 92 attack, and it's from Gen 4. Gibble, let's let, let's just go. And we see, and we have a very limited amount of types left. So this could, we actually may have a chat. How, Vespa Queen, no, we don't have poison left. Uh, Okay, let's see, let's see. Bugs, types of Mothum. Do not have flying either? Shit. Wormadam? No. Riolu? Ooh, that was actually a good... I'd say that was a good guess. Because we do... Actually, you know what? Let's see if it is either of those types. Wait, why did it only... Oh, does Lucario become a steel type? Oh, shit. How many guests do we have? We have five guests. Okay, so we still have a couple. Sh 
shroomish? No, that's Gen 3. Rampardo. No, wait. Uh, what's the mini one? Or what's shield on? Or shell. The uh, shell gone. No, shield on. Right? Okay, I don't think it's any of the fossils. Um. Grass types. Wait! Um. Once again, that's Gen 3. Uh. Carnivine. Is it a grass type? Not a grass type. God damn it, dude. <clears throat> it is a crazy. It has pretty high defense and special defense. What's a tanky Pokemon? Hippowdon? No, let's not. Okay, let's not. Whoa. Okay, let's not go for it yet. Bronzor. No. Rock types. Shh, what the? Ran, oh, Rampart. What's the pre evolution of Rampardos, chat? What is it called? Kranidos! Damn it! This thing has 125 attack in stage one? You're insane! Wait, what the fuck is Rampardos' attack? You went up barely anything. My. That's fucking busted. What the hell, chat? I did not know that it was that physically strong. My god! Kranidos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fudge. Dude, fudge. Um. Forget. How are we so. St we literally have like. Dude, it's gonna be something really obscure. Dark types. Dark type. Wait. Spirit Tomb. There. We got it. We got it. Oh my god, it was Spirit Tomb. Christ! Woo! Oh, Spirit Tomb is that? That is interesting. Oh, all right, let's do one more. And then let's go back to theory crafting. Let's do one more chat. Let's go for something in Gen 5. You know what? Let's go for what's. The Pharaoh's Pharaoh Thorn. Let's go for Pharaoh Thorn. Why is that there? Okay, that's weird. Um, okay, not Gen 5. And it's not flat and it's not grass or steel. Let's go for like dual stuff. So let's go for pit Pidgeot. Wait, can we even go for Pidgeot? Lower, no, let's not. Let's go for Pidgeotto. Bro's using how much shit. Apollo! I haven't seen you. No, I'm kidding. I was about to say, I haven't seen you in ages. No, you came around on Twitch. But I haven't seen that name in, tw in, in time. Wow, homie, how are you? How are you? Okay, we actually, we have the defense stat. It is 55 and it's from Gen 1. All right, let's just start crushing out typings. Gloom. Defense stat 55. Let's go. Um, no, actually, let, let, let's let's go, let's not even worry about it. Let's just crush out typings. Okay, none of those. So it's Gen 1. Yeah, Gen 1. Gen 1 for sure. Let's go. Let's see. Gen 1. Let's go. Let's go back to the waters. Let's go back to the waters. There's so many of them. Uh, Psyduck. 
Golduck. Star you. Oh, 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 it's water. Uh, you're telling me there's another water? There, it's a pure water type. Polly. It has to be one of the polys. Fuck off. No way. Slow bro. Wait, no. It's, no, those are psychic types. Those are psychic types. Not pure. No, it is pure. Single type right here. Pure water. Or, or, or were you talking about Victory Bell? Or no, no sorry, sorry. Slow bro. Slow bro. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. Right, 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 yeah, yeah. Psyduck? No, it's not Psyduck. We, we tried looking for that defense stat. So, honestly, all we have to look for is the same defense stat. Magikarp? That's act If it's Magikarp again. I swear to God, if it's... Again! No, okay, since... I are you kidding me? Again! We got it was Magikarp again! Okay, no, no, no. We're doing one more. We're doing one more. I did we seriously just get Magikarp two times in a row? Not two times in a row. Wow. Okay, no. We're going. We're going. We're giving it one more shot. We're giving it one more shot. Okay, let's go for something in the right in the middle. Let's go for something in Gen Five again. Let's go for Frillish or no? Uh, what's Frillish's evolved form? Frillish. Jellison, 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 Jellison. That's what it is. Jellison. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Jellison. Let's go for Jellison. Pretty big. Dual typing. Just... Okay. Not from Gen 5. Higher defense. And it's not a water or a ghost type. Let's go all the way down. No, actually, let's go all the way to the top. Let's go to Gen 9. Let's go for Knackle Stack. Okay, not Gen 9, and it's not a single type. Lower defense. Okay, so its defense is between 70 and under... Is the, is the spirit tomb? Yeah, it's a glitch. I don't know what's happening. Go figure it'd be a spirit tomb. Yeah. This, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the spirit tomb thing. That's pretty funny, though. Let's see. Let's see. Between... Okay, so we can maybe go off of the defense. Because it's... So the... So the sp the defense can be anywhere from 70 to 100. Onyx? Actually, that's... Oh, wait, no. No, we just did rock. It's not rock. Um, Skoropi. Skoropi, actually. S-K-O. That, that works. That checks out. Okay, Gen 4. It is from Gen 4, though. It is from Gen 4. Wait, let's see. Get this... It has a higher it has higher HP for than 60. So it's so it's HP is somewhere from 40 to to, to 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 59. Okay. Okay, we're actually making great progress. It's from Gen 4. 40 to 60 HP, 100 to 70 defense. Let's go for something. Krogunk. That's actually good. I can't spell. How do you spell Krogunk? Oh, there's an A. That can work for the HP. Can't work for the defense, though. You know, let's just do it just to see. Okay. Because even if it's not that, we still get information. Like, if it's... If that is okay, so it's higher. Th so it's okay. Yeah, like right there, higher than forty-eight. That's the, we can still work with that. Pachirisu. That's actually. Oh, just. Oh, this. Oh, oh, this doesn't help in any. Damn it! But you know what? It is electric. Okay, let's let let's redirect your Pachirisu and let's go for another electric type. Let's go for. Something from the Shinx line. Luxio. Let, let, let's get those types out of the way. Okay. None of those types either. Damn it. 
Magnezone. No, electric's gone. Steel, we have. Shit. We still have plenty of guesses. Gen okay, let's think about these typings. What do we have that still hasn't been done yet? How high is their defense? No, okay, their defense. Yeah. How is a turtwig? No, grottle. Grottle can't work. What about a tur twig? Tur, tur. How the fuck do you spell tur twig? Oh, T U R. God sakes. Tur, tur, tur. Could it could actually be a torch wig? Are you fucking okay? <laughs> Damn it! Wait, no, it couldn't have because a single time. Damn it! Scizor, that's Gen two. Steel dragon. Berry, dark, ground, flying, psychic, ice, normal, fire. What's like the only fire type that existed from Gen Magmortar? No. Could it be a legend? No. What the hell am I saying? Could it be a legendary? Weavile. Weavile. No, the HP is too high, but we do cross out ice and steel or dark. Sorry, not ice and steel. So it's none of the fuck. God damn. We haven't got a single type yet. Or a stat. No, it's not infinite. We have fighting's missing. I'm stumped. I'm really stumped, chat. This will definitely be the last one. Then we'll go back to theory crafting. I'm stumped. God damn. Monferno? No, it's not a pure type either. Has to be two types. Has to be. Bronze? Anything in the bronze ore line? Wait, let's look at the let's look at the defense again. The defense, it needs to be lower than 100, but higher than... <sighs> higher than 65. Monferno's firefighting, we don't have fighting. It could... It could be this. Boo, baby! Let's go! Let's get it! Damn! Yeah, it was staring at us. Let's go. That was tricky. That was tricky. That was good, though. That was fun. That was really fun. I do like the stats edition, honestly. I'll save Pokedoku for Laker. Laker? Later. Lake. Are we talking about lakes now? The lake trio. What do we think their involvement is going to be? No, okay. The lake trio's involvement. What was it? It was... Bronzor. <sighs> All right. Hey, what's going on, Ren? Welcome on into the stream. How you doing? Hopefully good. First time I've seen you in a YouTube stream. There are so many first timers for that I've seen for a YouTube stream. Like, Mafi, this is your first time in a YouTube stream of mine. Douglas, Ren, be actually almost everybody here, basically. 
except for Luna, maybe Rainbow. Wasn't my first? Oh, okay. Okay. You little, you little cheeky. You little cheeky sweet nothing. You little, you little bastard. Um, okay. So. Let's talk about. Okay. Is it possible for Volcano to get a secondary form of some kind? You know what? Let's talk about that. That actually, okay, maybe not the maybe not the forms, but the mythicals from Gen Six. Let's talk about them. What are mythicals from Gen Four, and how are they involved? Let's see, Manaphy. Okay, let, or let, let me just go to, let's go to this website. Let's see. Is there not? Okay, Gen 4's Fiona, Manaphy, Darkrai, Shaman, Arceus. Okay. So you could get all of those mythicals within Legends Arceus. Obviously, you got Arceus at the end when you beat everything. Darkrai, you could get in the Mount Cornet area. Shaman, you could get in the first area you go to in like a little, uh, Flowery area. Manaphy, you could get through a really cool event. Same with Fiona. So, from what we've gathered from Legends Arceus, is that they do intend to, or they've made the mythicals fully obtainable. And not through some mystery gift, not through some, not, not, not through anything weird. They, they've done it through an actual very interesting method. Or at least for some of them. Because some of them, they just kind of appear and you just have to encounter them and fight them. But Manaphy's was heavily, heavily detailed. Heavily detailed. I let's 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 go off and assume that we will at least get one of those heavily detailed events. For a mythical. That being Hoopa, Diancy, or Volcanion. Who do we think that mythical could be? Because personally, I think. Diancy could be really interesting. Assuming that we'll get some form of an underground, maybe like a mine area for minerals or resources. Maybe once we do something along a certain path or maybe along the ends of the game, a new cave will open up and it'll just be full. Just, just, I don't want this one. Just absolutely full of just like, what are they called? The diamonds, carbon, carbon. Maybe they'll just be absolutely full of carbon, right? You do have to have a uh, sword and shield and BDSP for Dark Ryan Shaman. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, you? Wait, what? No. What? No. Wait, what? Do wait? Do you? I might be forget. It's been a while. Hold on. Let me. Let me. How to get Dark Cry in Legends Arceus? Let me see this actually. Dark Cry can only be obtained if you have saved data from Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl on the. Oh, you're right. No, you're right. You are right. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You are right. My bad. My bad. Okay, yeah. So Dark Cry, you can only get in Legends Arceus if you have this stuff. Wait. So what was Shaman's requirement? Was it also just BDSP? If you have Pokemon Diary from Sword and Shield. Okay, so the, okay, so my bad. I apologize for not. Yeah, so it's exactly as you said. My bad. I apologize. I apologize. To unlock the quest. Hey, what's going on, Jets? Welcome on into the first. Welcome on into your first stream. First YouTube stream for Indian Media. Okay. So let's see. So I get, um, okay. So here's what I'm wondering, right chap? Because 
they they did it so that you know those games go are based off of something right or no like the way to get them is based off of previous games dark cry makes sense shaman doesn't really so what i'm wondering is will they do that same kind of thing for legends arceus and if so what games do you need to previously have in order to do that assuming that it is gonna just be wait wait is there any requirement for mana fee mana fee you can find mana fee inside the sea hollow yeah along with a bunch of catch mana fee in the Okay, so, so far it says nothing. So far it says nothing on actually like needing anything. So Manaphy is the one. For, for thought, what about the legendary trio you might get in Legends ZA? Like in Legends Arceus was the genie trio. So, wait, wait, so are you saying so, are, so, so what you're saying is that there might be a random trio of legendary Pokemon that will be able to get like the genies. Is that what you're saying? Here, you know what, chat? Let's 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 do this real quick. Hold on. Let's make let's make a list of topics to talk about. No, I don't want to add a color block. Okay. So let's go with. Uh, new trio to catch and then let's talk about mythicals i honestly really like this new trio idea as a topic a lot more okay let's uh please Okay, let's just do that because I'm lazy. Okay, so let's talk about the trios to catch. Okay, they're probably something. Uh, okay, wait. Let me let me jump into that. Uh, they'll probably be they probably pull from Volcano from Sword and Shield and Hooper from Scarlet and Violet. Yes, they, we can't do Johto and Swords of Justice since they already got Paradox forms. Is that actually is that true? Can we do that? Well, let me. Well, what what are they? They did the genie. Yeah. No, honestly, I. Do th I think that's actually a good place to start with eliminating. I actually think that's a really good place to start with from eliminating. Also, let's eliminate the, the, the Titans from Gen 3. Don't forget a new legendary trio. Oh yeah. Do we think they'll do that? You know what? Let's, yeah, actually let's add on to that. New trios, new, new, new trio to catch. Plus, no, plus new addition to trio there we go okay there we go okay new trio to catch new addition to trio and then mythicals okay let's okay yeah, let's find out about that new let's find out about that trio and the glaring birds okay so here you know what let's let's take a look at a list of just legendary pokemon and just see which ones we can cross off the list Cause, cause we're realizing there's a lot. Okay, so we can cross off. We can cross off the dogs, the birds, the the the, the forces of nature, swords of justice, giants, ruins of treasure, loyal three. And then should we should we remove anything from Jen's? Should we remove anything from Gen 4? Because we technically because they already had their time to do it. I think we should remove stuff from Gen 4. Here, hold on. You know what? Let's do this. Here, let me uh change this real quick, chat.
<laughs> oh, okay. Wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. That's awesome. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go. There we go. Okay, let's do that. Listen, you guys didn't see that. Okay. Okay, let's do this so we can actually like cross them off. Okay, so let's see. We're crossing off the birds. Okay, that's barely even visible. Whoa, don't lag on me. Let's cross off the birds. Let's cross off the beasts. Let's cross off the swords of justice. Forces of nature. You guys are done for sure. I'd say let's do anything from these games, from the most recent games. The only thing I can think of is either our horses via the Calyrex. Ooh. Oh yeah, there are some legendaries missing from this. Yeah, where's Calyrex? Cross off all of Gen 6. That's true. Uh, Yeah, I think it's safe to... Yeah, definitely crossing off you guys. Lunar duo. Okay. So that leaves us... With the guardian deities from... I don't think that's... <laughs> I don't think it's done. Here, chat, let me... Wait, where's this? Wait, let me go back to this chat. Okay, no, yeah, never mind. We shouldn't focus on that. Okay, cross off Mew and Mewtwo. Oh yeah, Mew and Mewtwo. Mew has a actual, well, no, yeah, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Tower duo, I don't think so. Tau trio, I think it'd be weird if you introduced another one. No. Okay, honestly, the only legitimate options is either the Eon duo or the Guardian deities. Honestly, chap, I think I think the Eon Duo have the best chance of getting something. The Eon Duo are... Fuck, you're right! They got Megas! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> what the fuck, man? Damn it! No, you're right, you're right. Okay, even so, there are legendaries that are missing from this list. So that means that the yeah the last one left could be the guardians have to protect their own islands to protect yeah well f well fuck this idea then damn it that's so funny how that just did not end up happening oh wait yeah there are legendaries missing from that list where there are a lot of legendaries missing from that yeah just the horse yeah glastrier and spectrier calyrex urshifu and kubfu I don't think Ogre Pond or Terrapagos will play any role in this. I don't think so. Terrapagos, definitely not. Ogre Pond? What do you guys think about Ogre Pond being in this game? What's its lore? What do you guys, yeah, what do you guys think about Ogre Pond? I don't think so, personally. Hmm, this is hard. I don't know, maybe they, fuck, so, okay. So then, 
is there even anything we can try and add on to this then? Because it's seeming like no. Because like even look, I'll admit adding enamorous to the to the genies was pretty random, but could they do it again? In Red and Blue Meowth and Growlithe were version exclusives, Pokemon were exclusive Pokemon Meowth got two regional forms in the main guide series. And Gr and Growlithe got regional forms in Legends Arc. It maybe new Growlithe. That is actually very fucking interesting. That's very interesting, actually. I didn't know that they were version exclusives in the original. That's... That's very interesting. You know what? New Growlithe? Let's, sla let's slap that onto the list of things to talk about. That's definitely not how you spell Growl. How do you spell Growl? L-I... Let's just, yeah, just for fun. Mega Growl 2, absolutely, no, I'm kidding. Uh, um, no, let's see, chat. Um, okay, so, so, so are we all in unison and in agreement that there won't be a trio? Are we in agreement that that? No new trio? Yay or nay? Probably in addition to a duo, but nothing more. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, 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 chat. Pause, 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 pause. Chat, 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 chat. Pause, pause, pause. We crossed out Latios and Latias way too soon. We crossed out Latios and Latias way too soon. Latios and Latias do have Megas, but that doesn't mean they can't introduce a third legendary in that group and give it a Mega too. Food for thought. Who says that they can't do that? And the mega will be red and blue. Or maybe both of them will be. Or maybe it'll be purple. The base will be purple. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The base will be purple. That'd be interesting. I think sun and moon legendaries are fair game because they can kind of be like in another timeline. They were French. <laughs> so... So, so when you're saying the legendaries from Sun and Moon, you're talking about like the Tapus or like Solgaleo, Lunala, and Necrozma. Which ones are you talking? Are you talking about? Because whoa, whoa, chat just had a burst. I mean, the Ultra Beasts, the Ultra Beasts. That could be in a new a new set of ultra beasts chat. A new set of that would be very, very interesting. It'd be cool if they just kept adding ultra beasts every once in a while. That no, honestly, that would be cool. What about Mew Mewtwo then? Mewtwo has two megas and we already have too many Mew distributions. We do have a lot of new distributions. So chat, let's talk about, okay. So there's been not a theory going around, but um, one of my biggest, uh, inspirations and 
one of my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite YouTubers, not a Pokemon YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers is Tyranitar Tube. And something that he's been throwing out into the atmosphere of theorizing is a Mew 3 idea. Now, I don't think Mew 3 is going to happen. However, comma, I do, I do, if they, this is more so just if they ever wanted to do this, because I think this is genuinely interesting. If they wanted to do something new with Mew or Mewtwo, you don't have to overcomplicate it at all. You don't have to overdo or overthink anything. Let's just go back to the fundamentals of Pokemon with this, right? And this doesn't even have to be for these games. It could be for anything, right? What if there was a single Mew in ancient times that simply evolved, just naturally evolved. We know, I take Titar with a grain of salt, that is entirely fair. What if there was a Mew that just simply evolved? The idea and concept of legendaries evolving has been something that has been introduced and has been done ever since Gen 7 ever since Gen 7. They did it with Cosmo, Cosmome, and then obviously, you know, Sogale Lunala. And they did it with Cubfu and Urshifu. It's not a common thing, but it definitely keeps thinking. I think Titar is sound in the... I, th <laughs> I think Titar is sound in the head, but will have a tendency to say some outlandish convo clout. Type Null and Sil Valley, type Null and Sil Valley as well. Personally, no, I honestly, I do think, I, 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 I do agree in that regard. I do think sometimes Tyranitar 2 does just kind of say stuff sometimes and will just kind of, and will just kind of say stuff. But, and, and like the whole Mew 3 idea, I don't agree with that. I, I think it's silly, but I, but my favorite way of thinking about it is what if there was a Mew that just naturally evolved, right? Because Mew is the ancient ancestor of all Pokemon. So what if instead of Mew delving out into other branches of different types, it just continued to evolve itself? I think that's something that could be interesting. And if you wanted to do another Mew 3 thing, you could do it in this. That's that. Moving on. Let's, uh, let's finish uh let's let's remove some of these let's okay now let's talk about where this whole conversation topic started let's talk about mythicals chat let's talk about the mythical pokemon for gen 6 let's talk about hoopa diancy and uh hoopa diancy and volcanion maybe bring back deoxys for no reason since they're is no official way to get it outside of Pokemon Go. Or as, but yeah. That is interesting. That is true. Latios, Latios getting a buddy would probably be yellow since red and blue. Since red, blue, yellow. Or green! Or green! Or green! Or green. But that actually, I, I like that. Going, I'm throwing that back onto like the Latios, Latios stuff. I like that. I actually really do. That, that's... That's actually very, that's a very interesting thought. That's a very interesting thought. Now chat, let's, but the shinies are sort of green and yellow. That is, uh, yeah, one's golden and one's like a little bit green. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean. Damn it, no, that's true. That is true. Then maybe the shiny of the third version will be blue and red in places. I don't know. Maybe that's a That's an idea. Whatever. Um, okay Let's talk about the mythicals. Let's go back to that original conversation because I really liked that idea So as we saw in Legends Arceus, they made all of those mythical Pokemon attainable within They made all of those mythical Pokemon attainable within BDSP for some of them, you needed previous game files. For some, it, it was just natural, like Manaphy, right? But for Darkrai, you needed BDSP. And for Shaman, you needed Sword and Shield. So let's forget, let, let, let's not even focus on what games you would need because that's kind of irrelevant to the this conversation. Let's focus 
on what or how they could be distributed. What if the Gen 6 trio got a fourth member? And that's the A legendary people. No. So I still really like the idea that Diancy has its whole underground cave where you can find a bunch of fucking... Okay, no, this is what you can do. So we all know that everything is with taking place within. Uh, we all know that... Except the Oxus will run out of expiration after the transfer. Well, too bad, so sad. They'll probably do something. Okay. Let's focus on the let's focus on the mythicals, guys. There, let's say there's a cave because we know the whole game takes place within Limited City. I don't want this one. Let's say there's a, a cave somewhere within Lumio City, and obviously gets patched up later, all that good stuff. In that cave, you know, are a bunch of ground type Pokemon like you know Diglett, Ex, uh, Excadrill, Drillbur, and Carbink. Carbink chat. Somewhere, maybe there's a whole section of Pokemon for Carbink. Or there's a whole section of that cave for Carbink where everything's like all glassy, all mirror-y, like how there was in X and Y. Right before you get to Shalor City and take on the fighting type gym leader Karina. Let's say there's another one of those. Throughout the game, do we get, or like nearing the end of the game, we get news that, hey, there's a random cave entrance now in the glassy area. And we go in there and we find Diancy. That would be sick as hell. I th honestly, and honestly, out of all of them, Hoopa, Diancy, and Volcano, I think Diancy has the highest chance of having its own, like, of having its own proper area. I think Di. Hola. I think Diancy would have the best chance just because it would fit in the most naturally with the environment. Yeah, Volcanion, that's the hard part because it's water and fire and related to steam or volcano, volcano, whatever, right? That's the hard part. Because the thing is with Hoopa, you can throw that in anywhere, right? The rings, you can do that literally anywhere. You can do Hoopa in a back alley and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? But with Volcanion, that's a rough one. Because there was the power plant. I feel like Hoopa would just show up at random in a random town, like in the movie. Yeah, honestly, I feel like Hoopa, yeah. It's weird. It's weird for that. Um, Volcanion, maybe a steamboat or something? Volcanion is just chilling on a steamboat? That seems a little anti-climate. I mean, yes, but I mean, like, it's an option, but uh, it feels a little anticlimactic. Hoopa can summon legendaries out of nowhere. Maybe there can be a reason for Mewtwo and the Eon Twins and the Weather Trio to appear. They do what they did in Auras, where they have the Hoopa Rings again. If they want to do a whole another legendary distribution, although I don't know if they would want to, because they didn't do that for Arceus, which makes sense. But they have Hoopa, which they used as a thing previously. Since they have Megas, that's true. That's true. Okay, actually, okay, chat, here's my question. I'll throw this on the I'll throw this on the list of stuff. Uh there we go. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get to that soon. We're we're gonna continue going on down the list. So let's go, let's let's continue on with the mythicals. Diancy, I feel like I've already made a pretty good case for. Hoopa, I feel like genuinely, like it's pretty, it's a pretty lazy excuse, but Hoopa can kind of just appear anywhere. I feel like that's fair in saying that, honestly. Um, yeah, Hoopa can kind of just show up anywhere.
Volcanion is still a bit of a, maybe like a damp cave. I have no idea. We know that there's a water system through Lumio City. I don't know, maybe just something with water. I feel like that's all I can think, all I can think of at least. Let's talk about that Growlithe because that actually is a really interesting point that you brought up because yeah, you're right. Meowth and that whole line got two regional forms, you know, Galar uh, Alolan Meowth and Persian and then Galarian Meowth and Perserker. Growlithe just got its new regional form with uh, suing Growlithe, becoming rock fire type. What about Lumio's tower for Volcanion? They have to be steam powered. See, I don't think they could do that because that would imply that they've captured and have restraint over Volcanion. And I don't think that is the case. I don't think that would be, especially since we're building or reconstructing Lumio city. Maybe the tower is already done, but I feel, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think that could pass. New Growlithe. What do we think for typings? I have never once had anybody in my family come in and walk here in this little space of my room and be like and talk that was that was new to me um what type could this new growlithe be what if we go to the type that x and y gave us being a fairy type regional cat like purloin no, let's stick with Growlithe. Growlithe is a perfect example, I feel. What if it were a fairy fire type? That could be interesting. I like the fact that they went with rock for Growlithe in the previous one because it's like old and, you know, rock. Almost like a fossil idea, but it obviously did not make it a fossil. I think fairy could work. What other typings could there be for it? Pokemon type chart. Some like complementary types, not steel, not rock. I j honestly, I'm I'm kind of really sold on the idea of a fairy fire Arcanine. Electric fire, that could work too. That could work too. That could be interesting. Electric fire, fairy fire. Dark fire? I don't know. I don't know what would make it dark. But it's an interesting idea. Dark fire. I think, honestly, I do think that's all we can think of. Growlithe has to evolve into a new Pokemon entirely since Galarian and Meowth did the same thing. Oh my God, wait, true. True, 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 true. Okay, yeah, let's stick with that. I like that idea. I like that idea. Let's stick with that. It evolving into a whole new kind of dog. I like that. I like that. That's that's actually a really good place to start or to like think about. Okay, so what would it like replace or like oh, how, or because let's actually look at Berserker. Let's see. Uh, Perserker. It's two hours. Perserker, yeah. 
a Viking. Okay, so this one's Viking based. What, what was the deal with this Meowth though? Okay. Maybe if we go to the trivia section. I don't know. Okay. Okay, well, let's forget about that. Let's forget about that. Okay. Berserker. So Berserker went into an entirely different route. It went from a it went from a cat on all fours to a cat standing on two legs and is now a bike. That's quite the drastic different change. Persian and Berserker. Persian and Berserker. So what kind of like regional variant could a Growlithe have? Like what direction would we want to, you know what, let's, ooh, 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 ooh. Guys, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Chat, what if it goes in the direction of like a guard dog. Cause assuming that this is back in like the 18, like an 1800s equivalent of Pokemon. What if it's like a guard dog? Fenrir for an evolution. Ooh, that like a wolf. That could be interesting as well. But what if, uh, but, but I, 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 we'll discuss that in a second. I want to talk about the guard dog idea. What if it, cause like, let's assume that this game takes place like in the 1800s equivalent. Kings, queens, rulers, stuff like that. Guard dogs. A guard dog Arcanine. Am I crazy or does anybody else kind of see the vision that I'm going for? Is anybody else getting it? What do we what, what do we think about that? What do we think about that? Do we think do we think I'm delusional? Love this song. Boo -doo -doo -doo. I sort of am. Cause like, like, you, you know what I mean? Like a guard dog. It, 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 instead of, okay. So let's, let, let's take a look at Arcanine, right? Let's take a look at Arcanine, right? Arcanine is a very big, is a very big dog, right? Wait, an ancient picture scroll shows that captivated its movements and it ran through prairies. Okay, wait, fuck everything. Fuck everything. Screw everything. Let's look at every one of Arcanine's Pokedex entries, see if it says anything about it in the past. I feel like Lumio City being a city that would eventually have an electric gym, Growlithe might be a fire electric to me. Th that's not a bad idea. Where is its Pokedex? Pokedex, 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 Pokedex. Pokedex entries. Okay, here we go. A Pokemon that has been admired since the past for its beauty. It runs elegantly as if on wings. Legendary Pokemon in China. What the? F Many people are charmed by its grace and beauty while running. A Pokemon who's... What the fuck? This legendary Chinese Pokemon is considered magnificent. Many people are enchanted by its grand mane. Its magnificent bark conveys a sense of majesty. An ancient picture scroll shows where people were attracted to its movements as if it ran through the prairies. Arcanine is known for its high speed and is able to be capable of running over 6,200 miles single day. Fire that blazes wildly within. Fleet-footed Chinese legends long been admired as if it proud and regal okay screw okay no honestly 
kind of okay kind of going back to like the whole like royalty thing what if instead of arcanine being like a guard dog yeah the china th yeah no china thing throw that away what if instead of it being like a guard dog is more like a dog of royalty so like a very a very speedy and elegant dog a very elegant fiery and speedy dog and it embraces that in lumio city i think that is a strong case or honestly it could lose the fire type as a whole Lo throw away the fire type since berserker did electric type let's just let's just make it an electric type What do we think of that? Yamper? Yes! Like Yamper and uh... What's it called? Yamper and... Or maybe electric fire. Maybe keep the fire. I don't know. Bolton. Yes, Bolton. Maybe keep the fire. I think this is a great direction. I think this is a great direction. A, 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 a royalty guard. A royalty dog. A royal dog. I think that's I, I I think we're on to something. I genuinely think we're on to a royal dog. Come on. I think this is a great direction. I feel like I honestly I kind of have my answer. I kind of have my answer for the new Arcanine or Growlithe, honestly. A royal guard dog that focuses on that speed. Either removing the fire type or keeping it. I can personally see Yamper in the Legends EA games. But but my whole theory that I just did. No, I'm kidding. Um I can see something with I can see something with Arcanine. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, chat, real quickly, I'm going to grab a snack or something to munch on during the stream. Now, let's let's talk about what will probably be the final topic of the stream, because I do think I am going to call it soon. Let's talk about the final, the final topic, returning megas. Now, I'm going to go grab a snack. I want you guys to, if you guys have anything or any idea or any idea, theory, or feelings towards returning megas, put it in the chat and I'll get right back to it. Do we got anything new? Let's see it, gamers. Let's see it. I person. Oh, wait, no, uh, I can We can all agree that Kalos Megas will return. Absolutely. Maybe Mega Auto. No, probably Hoenn Starter Sableye Auto. Yeah. Honestly, I think. I think it's safe to say that every Mega Pokemon except maybe some legendaries just for reasons because Mewtwo hasn't existed right this doesn't I guess Sableye Supremacy <clears throat> I'd say 
the majority, every non-legendary mega can appear. Maybe, maybe Rayquaza, and maybe. Let, let, let's pull up a list of mega Pokemon. Okay, here's every mega Pokemon. They're obviously bringing back these four. They can't do that. They love they love nostalgia baiting. <coughs> oh, Mega Diancy! I forgot about Mega Diancy, chat. Chat, I forgot about Mega Diancy. Okay. Mega Diancy has to be in the game. Okay, I do think there will be some Megas. Latios, Latios, maybe. Rayquaza, maybe. Mewtwo, no. I don't see Mewtwo happening. I think it'd be pretty, pretty insane if they just didn't, if they like, if they only included some Megas, but not all. Like, like they, like, if, like you can't just have like, like if they had to like, like if they eliminated one from every row, like all of these except for Beedrill, re remove Beedrill, remove Pinsir, remove Aerodactyl, remove like Hera. Like I feel like they just can't do that. You know what I mean? I definitely believe you have to add them all. You know what I mean? Like you have to have all of them. So, what pseudo did Kalos have? Pseudo Kalos was Gudra. Do you guys think Gudra will get a Mega? It just got a Suian form. So that's debatable, you know? It's debatable, right? Oh, here's an idea. Do we think Xerneas or Yveltal will get Megas? To make up... Sorry. There's always a chance with good, JD. Do you think Xerneas and Yveltal will get Megas? To match or collaborate with 100% Forms Zygarde. What? How do we feel on that? Like that with with that reasoning, or just the whole idea of them getting a mega? Maybe just woke up. Well, good morning. Mega Y and Mega X. I think it's possible. I definitely think it's possible, because think about it. Dialga and Palkia got new forms. Why not? You know what I mean? I think we should take stuff. I think we should look at ideas and concepts that happened within Legends Arceus and see if they're even applicable. And because Megas started in X and Y, I definitely think they're applicable. I definitely think they're applicable. I love this music. What about new Megas? What new Mega Pokemon do you guys think could exist? What are your guys' biggest candidates for new Mega Pokemon? I think Flygon's the most popular one. Jinx! That is not what I expected here. But I'm totally okay with hearing that. Mega Jinx. Hmm. I don't think Gujar is getting a Mega. Wait, I don't think Gujar getting a Mega is impossible because Charizard got two. That's true. Same with Mewtwo. 
Mega Mewtwo Y, Mega Mewtwo X. Also, I'm upset the post office didn't listen to me and put the package in a freaking. God damn it. Also, chat, real quick, I'm gonna say this real quick. I don't know if you guys have or haven't. I don't really know how much it'll affect this, but if you guys haven't already, please be sure to go ahead and drop a like down below. It's always greatly appreciated. With that being said, back to the conversation I had. Megas. No, wait. There is a list of Pokemon that exists within Legend ZA already. Because we saw them in the trailer. We can only assume that they were there. So let's see. Let's see if any of these Pokemon we think could get Megas. Megas for the starters that will be in the game. Okay, okay, well, okay. That's actually a good debate. Do you think that the new starters we're gonna... Do, not the new. Do you think that the, 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 the three starters we're gonna get for this game are gonna have regional forms or Megas? Or both? I want to hear y'all's answers on that. Let's take a look at all the... While you guys are answering, let's take a look at all the Pokemon in here. I want to have the door... No, I got you. Yeah. Actually. Forget the idea. Forget the idea of looking for Megas that could potentially exist. Let's see how many Pokemon are already confirmed to be in the game. And see if any of them are Megas. Because I already did see some. Because there's Onyx, which can go to Steelix, Mega Steelix. Pinsir. Gyarados. Aerodactyl. Heracross. Gardevoir. Absol. We're at seven. Gallade. Okay. Regional forms are preferred for me. It has similar cry. Wait, what? It has similar cry to plus your special attack is too high. In the files, I mean. Alrighty. Both is not impossible. We might just get one for either. So we already have a handful of... A handful. I mean, yeah. We already have a handful of Megas confirmed. We have... One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight Megas confirmed just by the Pokemon that we saw in the trailer. So they're 100% bringing the old Megas back. I don't think that was a question, but it is real. So now, are there any of these Pokemon in here? That we think could get Megas. Dragonite, very, very big contender. Very, very big contender. I know everybody wants a Mega Dragonite. Crocodile. Florgis, I think, really deserves one. Dragalge would be sick. Noivern would be awesome. Arbok, I guess? Arbok! What are Arbok's base stats? What's its BST? Okay, it doesn't say here. Uh, 488 or 448 so 100 bs 5 548 okay oh jd you know what they're talking about interesting arbok okay because we know that Megas give them a hundred boost, like a hundred BST boost. Let's take a look at Pinsir, for example. Mega Pinsir, 600. 
Regular Pinsir is 500. So yeah, 100 boosts. And just to double check, let's take a look at Gyarados. Very up to date on Pokemon stuff. Yes, you are. That is something I've learned from you. You absolutely are. Mega Gyarados, 640. Gyarados, 540. What a hair across the stats, actually. Six hundred five. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Hip out on. What are Hip out on stats? Five twenty five. Six twenty five. I don't uh, just by. Mm, I mean, it's Kyle, so maybe Mega. Uh, maybe Mega Age Slash. See, I want. Like, I want that, right? But I'm so conflicted because I'm thinking. Why wouldn't they have already existed within X and Y to begin with? You know what I mean? But like I said, doesn't exclude it out from the conversation. That's just like a personal gripe I have. You know what I mean? Kalos, maybe Mega A, maybe. Oh, no, I already read that. I also love seeing theories people has, which is why I watch Sheetar. Oh, I watch Sheetar all the time. Same. Mega Halucha? Or an evolution to Halucha, chat. Or regional form of Halucha. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Never mind, never mind. Re anything here that we see, regional forms, throw out the, throw out the window. Because if we saw them here like this, they wouldn't have regional forms, right? I think that could be thrown out the window for sure. Would prefer an Evo. Mega Talon Flame. That'd be sick as fuck. That'd be crazy. Welcome back, Luna. Chat, I will say, and I'm it's a very unfortunate to be coming now, Luna. I do think we are gonna end the stream at 5 30. We've had a lot of great discussions. Um, what happened to Twitch? Uh no, we're we're still gonna stream on to Twitch, and off I go. God damn it. We, we are still streaming on Twitch. I just wanted to try this out, see how this would go. But what is good, my dude? Welcome on in. We've been we've been talking to all Pokemon today. Theories. We just, we, just, we just been theorized throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks, you know? And currently, we're talking about Mega Pokemon. Returning Mega Pokemon and what new Pokemon we can see. If it's said in the past, it would be time they don't exist anymore. Wait, if it if it set in the past, it would be the, it would be with time they don't exist anymore. Or on the other side where they get discovered till later. That is the best Pokemon. That's my theory. That's a very strong theory. I'm stumped. I feel ya. Imagine Mega Talonflame and all of its feathers become pure fire. Like a Moltres? That'd be sick. Let's take a look at Pokemon that we that could get Megas. Or just Pokemon we might want to get Megas. Guys, Mega Moth? Oh, no, I'm kidding. Mega Golurk. Golurk. It's fun when Pokemon rework beta Pokemon into new Pokemon. Wait, have they done that before? Mega Pharaoh Thorn would be sick. This is also bright as hell. Getting off of that. I did not realize how broad, blinding that would be. What if instead of the legendary trio they get... What if instead of a legendary trio getting new member they get original variants?
that could also be an interesting part or an interesting theory regional or megas oh true yeah no you're right farfetch did fix that huh i am really winding down now huh i very like all my brain is like slowing down because i know i'm gonna wrap up stream soon um i think we talked a, I, I think we talked about talked about as much mega stuff as we possibly could all right chat do we have any other theories or anything we could talk about for the next 15 minutes this is a tricky topic it is a, it is definitely a tricky topic because we just don't know i feel like we'll definitely get some of these answers answered in the first trailer some of these questions answered in the first trailer my bad i'm gonna throw hands with a hitmonchan that's your death wish we had a shark anchor tail oh that's true that's true Huh. <clears throat> Anybody else got anything? Cause I'm, 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 I'm out. Honestly, I'm tapped the rhyme. I mean, I have a theory of the synchro, synchro machine being used for boss battles. I am very interested to hear what you have to say about that. Shell switch originally a Gen 3 po Was it actually? Was Shell actually originally a Gen 3 Pokemon? I did not know that. That's actually pretty sick. Itching my nose. Oh, actually, no, Douglas, going off of what you just said, the synchro machine. Pokemon tends to implement a lot of features in games that they will further add to or perfect in later games. There is no way the synchro machine is not going to play a part or the whole or that whole feature. There's no way that whole feature is not going to take place in a in a game coming soon, whether it be Legend ZA, we don't know, but that's definitely happening soon. The Synchro Machine can allow you to take control of Pokemon, so if you can be the Pokemon for a boss fight, that's true. That's actually really sick. Look at the Cramorant Machine in the printer. Look at the Cram... I know the machine you're talking about, the Cramorant Machine. Cramorant Machine. Wait, what about it? They do the same thing. Wait, what's the printer? I don't know. I don't know what this printer is. I apologize. Look at my boy. My boy. Cramorant. Love that little stupid bird. 
They do do the same thing? What's the printer? Oh, the item printer. Oh, I never used this. I never touched this. The item printer. Yeah, I never, I never touched this. Post game indigo disc. Wow. Yo, the Game Boy printer? No, I'm kidding. You guys, they're bringing back the Game Boy printer confirmed. What's good? This song is great. Sorry. Yeah. You can print Master Balls with it? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of insane. Alrighty, fellas. I'm Be Real. I don't know if I can make it another two minutes. Or not another, another 10 minutes. So. I think we're just going to call it here. I had a lot of fun. I had a great time discussing with everybody. A lot of people came in and talked. And I'm honestly really happy that that happened. Now, will there be more YouTube streams? I got no clue. Genuinely, I have no... I have no more... I, I have... the I, One thing I think I will definitely do is I will have streams like multi-stream i will I'll, I'll have streams on youtube and streams on twitch at the same time for when there's new pokemon directs i think that's definitely something that i will do maybe but other than that nothing else i got an idea for but with that being said ladies and gentlemen my name is Egan media it's been an absolute pleasure streaming for you all again on youtube it was kind of weird coming back to home if you guys haven't already, be sure to go ahead and join on into the Discord so you guys are always notified for whenever I'm going to be posting a new video. You guys can see the thumbnail or you get to join and interact with the community. You know when I go live, all that good stuff. Follow my Twitch. If you guys are if you guys are YouTube channel only, go follow my Twitch. I promise you it's 100% worth it. Make a Twitch account. Do what you gotta. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's been fun. It's been nice. Don't know when or if the next YouTube stream will be, but definitely been nice. Fellas, my name is Ziggy Media, and I will catch you all sometime in the future. Take it easy.